Welcome to Vintage Variety. I am really excited about sharing this with you guys today. This is a vintage jewelry box and it is full of jewelry. I haven't gone through all of the contents in this box. When I purchased it, I was basically able to open it up and just do a glance and I could tell that there's probably going to be some really good pieces in here. This is only the second time that I've managed to purchase something like this. The other jewelry box that I purchased, it was years and years ago. It wasn't quite as big as this one, and it didn't have as many pieces. And the pieces that were in it, some of them were really good pieces, and some of them were just your run-of-the-mill stuff. So we're going to go through this together. We're going to start with this top drawer. Well, this is pretty. This is the first thing that I noticed when I looked in the box. This is a beautiful mother-of-pearl pin. This one has the safety pin top closure on the back of it. So that's a good item. This is pretty. Don't see any markings on the back of this, but isn't that beautiful? A necklace pendant kind of reminds me of a snowflake. This is a lighthouse pin. Probably some kind of souvenir. A gold tone tie tack. Oh wow, look at this. This looks very Art Deco. In fact, I think it is. It has a C clasp on it. This is Mother of Pearl. I'll definitely have to test this just in case it's sterling. A pretzel. How funny is that? I think I see a marking on this one right there. You guys see that? It says Accessor Craft. So far, so good. This piece is signed, and we've also found a couple of really nice vintage pieces. Get a load of these. These are some really wild-looking earrings. Something's going on here. Okay. So this needs to be adjusted. It looks like it might have came loose, and it's been put back on wrong set these to the side and I will do that right away. I have too many projects going on at once here at the house. I have some jewelry projects going on and some house projects. I'm in the process of doing some painting, which is what I'm going to be working on today when I finish with this content. So I'll definitely get these repaired right away. I don't need to add to my list of projects. Another little tack pin. This one is an angel. Okay. So this is just a glass charm. This is kind of like those charms that you see on bracelets. And another one. This is cute and it's funny because it is Valentine's Day. This is a little frosted glass heart with a rhinestone set into it. This one's a pendant. Another bracelet charm. Someone must have had a collection of these things. Maybe we'll run across a few more. Oh, this is pretty. This looks like a costume piece. Let's see. Let's see if there's any markings inside of this. I do see something. Right there. Button earrings. These are marked also. Okay, right there. These are marked Japan. There's two of them. So that is a set. The last time I ran across a jewelry box like this, there were a lot of single earrings. No marking on these, but they are a set. A 
And this just looks like one of those tumbled stones that people buy. It's not even a bead. There's no holes in it. Oh, wow. So these are beautiful. Look at these guys. Aren't they pretty? And they are a match set. And these are signed. These are Hobe. How cool is that? And they're in pretty good condition. Looks like there might be a little bit of discoloring right here. So I'm probably going to have to very gently clean them. Wow, I really like these. Another mother of pearl brooch. This one's old. It has the C clasp and this is going to have to be cleaned. It has a lot of verdigris on it. Want to take this out. I don't want to leave it in here and have it spread to other items. Wow, look at these earrings. These are huge. They almost look like they're supposed to be little bells, maybe. And they may be signed. Let's see what they have on them. That just says, hopefully you guys can see this, it just says patent. Is that Monet? Yeah, I believe these are Monet. I will definitely look at these through the loop and I'll also insert a picture so you guys can see better. These are really cool. I'll have to get my Monet book out and see if perhaps these are a book piece. More clip-on earrings. These are enamel. I don't see any markings on those. Another mother of pearl piece. So these are earrings. That's kind of cool. Let's see if there's another one in here. Okay, I like these. Aren't these neat? And they go really well with this pen. And this is a vintage button and it's also Mother of Pearl. So someone really liked Mother of Pearl. These are pierced. Look at the size of these. Very 1980s looking enameled pierced earrings. Oh, these are pretty. And there's two of them. Aren't those cute? See any markings on them? So they may just be costume, but I think they're really pretty earrings. So this is a charm type necklace. It has three different charms on it. I have the glass wire wrapped pendant, a pearl, and this one looks like a bee. This one does have a tag or a cartouche on it. Not familiar with this. If you guys know what it is, let me know in the comments. So far, all these earrings have had mates. Look at these, these are pierced.
I don't see any marking on these, but aren't they pretty? Some more earrings. These are clip-ons. I don't see any markings on these, but I think these are nice. More 80 style earrings unmarked. Another ring. This looks kind of like a crown or a sunburst. It may have had another piece or two more pieces that went with it. These are hooked together. Let's see if I can get them undone. We'll get a good look at them. I like these. I like the design of them. Surprised they aren't signed. They're pretty cool. See if there's another one. These are glass. This rhinestone has the Aurora Borealis coating on them. We have two more drawers to go through. I don't see any markings on it. I like the color kind of a burnt orange color. This is heavy. These look like ceramic beads. No markings on it. It's a nice necklace. Those are pretty. Kind of a cranberry color. like old Japan. Let's see if there's a marking on these. And there is. These are Japan. Let me zoom in on it so you guys can see. But they're Japan. Isn't that pretty? very lightweight but still I think this is beautiful it is adjustable and I don't see any markings on it but this is a really pretty necklace this one is a stretch very heavy these are real stones not sure what kind they are, but pretty neat. Oh wow, look at this, guys. These are faceted glass beads. Looks like it needs to be restrung, or maybe this just needs to be taken up. And it has this beautiful clasp on it. This is a push-in clasp with a big rhinestone set into it. You know what? Someone probably wore this with these beautiful earrings. Huh. I'm going to put this back in here and I'm going to put the earrings with it. These are faux pearls. But I love the pendant on it. Isn't that beautiful? It's got these rhinestones set into it. And there is a marking on the back. Nolan Miller. It also has a cartouche. And this also says Nolan Miller. Got a few signed pieces in this box. This is really nice.
Look at these. These are kind of wild looking, aren't they? They look like hoops. All of this has been wired onto these. And there are two of them. A bracelet. Thought perhaps it was adjustable, but it's not. Also glass beads. This is probably about seven inches. This would definitely go with the earrings and necklace. So this is another stretch too, and it's heavy. These are faux glass pearls. There's rhinestones set in. I don't know if you guys remembered, I did content recently where I got an Elizabeth Taylor for Avon necklace, and it looked just like this. So I am going to have to get that necklace out and compare it. This may very well go with it. I don't see any markings on it, but still, it's a good way to put a set together when you find pieces that match, even if they're not by the same designer or maker. Look at this, guys. This looks just like those earrings, the Hobe earrings. Look at that. I would say they match. The leaves are the same, same color stone. The only difference is this one kind of has a coating on it, same design. Maybe this is a Hobe. Uh, I don't see any marking on this. What does the tag say? Sage Allen. Oh, this was originally $5 and someone bought it on sale for $2.50. I don't know, what do you guys think? I would say that they're a set, the earrings and this brooch. I like it. What is this? Almost looks like a bottle stopper. Maybe it went on a really fancy perfume bottle or something. Certainly not jewelry. Or glass beads. This one has a push-in clasp. These are made to look like tiger's eye. I like the combination with the white, and this is a really nice length. Mm, I remember these. These were so popular back in the 1980s and 90s, these gold chains like this. I don't see a marking on this one. It's probably just gold plated. It's in very good condition though. So what is this? Wow, whatever it is, this is very, very long. You know what? This looks like a belt. See where it hooks right there. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the closure on it or the hook. See that? I'm thinking that this is a belt just by the way it's made. It has this front piece on it and this looks like faux amber. I think if I was going to wear this, I would most likely wear this as a necklace and I would wear this piece kind of to the side because it's very pretty and that way people would be able to see it. So this is pretty cool. This is just an old belt and I like old belts. These are glass also. They're done on a cord and it's individually knotted. This has a toggle clasp. Always love the sound of glass jewelry. Wow, this is huge. Look how big this is. Almost as big as my hand. That's not saying much. I have short hands and I always feel like they're too wide. Okay, so this looks like it's a trifari. See that? Huh. I 
Oh, wait a minute, it's marked here too. Sarah Cove Limited Editions, 1975. So this is a Sarah Cove on a Trifari chain. Another faceted glass necklace, and look at this one. This is gorgeous. Graduated beads. They have that beautiful Aurora Borealis coating. Let's see if this one's signed. No, no markings. Very pretty. An inlaid mother of pearl bracelet. I think that these old bracelets like this look so pretty when you have a lot of them and you wear them all together, especially if they have color tones that go together. So let's take a look at what's in the bottom. This is pretty. This looks like something my daughter would like and it's a nice size. This looks like a Monet. Monet did a lot of pins like this. I don't see any markings on it, so perhaps this is just a Monet wannabe. It's still cute. Look at his little eyes. He has little rhinestone eyes. Another brooch. Looks like a shooting star. This is a pattern stamped into the piece to make it look like rhinestones. But here at the bottom, it does have rhinestones set into it. I thought that was a mark, but it's not. Look at the size of this one. It's in really good condition. And this one's also marked. This one is a Trifari. Look at the fish. So this is cold painted. It's not really what you would call enamel. This one's unmarked, but this is really neat. Gold tone rose brooch and a big one. And this is also marked, guys. Look at that. Let's zoom in and let's see what that says. Trafari. Another Trafari brooch. That's, that's awesome. Quite a few signed pieces in here. These are Naper and they're still in their card. At least I think they're Naper. Let's see if the earrings are signed. Sometimes they will be, sometimes not. And they are. These aren't quite as old, but they are still on the card and they are still vintage. It's a cute dog brooch. I don't see any markings on it. It's enameled. Not sure what this is all about. Maybe it's supposed to represent a dog on a ball, or maybe you can put a scarf through this. I'm not sure. If you know, definitely let me know in the comments. This one back. A gold tone faux pearl brooch. This is nice. It's a nice size too. And it's also marked. I can't make that out. Let's zoom in and see if we can see what that says. Panino. Another signed piece out of this. Jewelry box. So this, this is a lot of good pieces. This is pretty. Faux pearls and rhinestones looks like a heart also. Is that a marking? Oh wow, this is a Koro. 
How cool is that? A vintage Coro brooch. This looks like a necklace pendant, maybe. Well, here we go. A charm bracelet. And this looks just like that piece. So I'm guessing that was on the bracelet at one time or the other. This looks like a Pandora bracelet. Look at the snail. Isn't it cute? Let's see if it's a Pandora. Don't see a marking for Pandora, but I do see a 925. So I'm definitely going to test the bracelet, and I'm also going to test the charms that are on it. This doesn't look like it would be sterling. Another earring, and it does have a mate. And this is also marked. I can't quite make out what the marking is on this. If you guys can tell, let me know in the comments. Either way, I'm probably going to take a really good look at these under the loop so that I can read it. More earrings. Aren't these pretty? Let's see if there is a marking anywhere on these. There is. Going to have to look at these under the loop also. I really can't make that out. This is kind of a charm necklace. Have a golf club and some kind of a, supposed to be maybe a soccer ball. What do you guys think? This looks like it could be sterling. Let's see what this is marked. I can't make that out. So this is another piece I'm going to have to look at under the loop and I will definitely test it. And this is our last item. These are pretty. These look like opal. Let's see if we see any markings. Sometimes these will be marked on the post. Okay, I think that there's some kind of lettering. Maybe not, I can't tell. I'll also have to have a good look at these under the loop. This content did run a little bit longer than my content usually runs, but we did go through a lot of items in this jewelry box. This was a really good buy. I was really surprised by how many good items were in it and how many signed items. Some of these items may be in my upcoming sale. I'm going to do a subscriber appreciation sale on my channel. I was planning to do that sale this month. We'll see how that works out. If I do not do it at the end of this month, it will be at the beginning of next month. I will put up a preview midweek before I do the sale and the sale will be on Saturday. So definitely keep an eye out for that. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to share these items with me. If you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on more content about collecting vintage and antique items. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.